Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to fix JLab Go Air Sports left earbud not charging. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. So, the step one is clean the charging pins. So, use a soft dry cloth or a Q-tip to gently clean the charging pins on both the earbuds. You will see in the back side of the earbud here a golden colored and in the charging case also in charging case you will see here these are the charging pins in both of the side make sure there is a no drips or a moisture prevent a proper connection okay after that you can simple place the earbuds in the charging case and then leave it up to 30 minutes and after completing the 30 minutes you can check that that the earbud is successfully charged or not also make sure that the case plug is working correctly when you plug the charging case with a power socket like this so then you will see a blue lights blink under a charging case here it means that the charging case is successfully charging okay and then leave both of the things up to 30 minutes and then after that you can check that the earbuds is successfully charged if not so it's time to do a reset so after that you can simple open the charging case and do not put out the earbuds okay and then you can simple quick tap the touch sensors up to seven times on the left earbud while it's still in a charging case so the earbud will blink four times blue you will see here this one is a left one so you can simple tap on it up seven times one two three four five six seven then you will see the four times blue lights blink so repeat the same thing with a right earbud one two three four five six seven now you will see the blue lights is blink it means both the earbuds successfully resetted after that take the earbuds out of the case so they should now enter pairing mode with one earbud will blink blue and other word other one is blink white you will see in the camera okay and then you can reconnect to your phone make sure the bluetooth is turned on on the on your bluetooth device and then you will see that the issue is fixed so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial goodbye